Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to share my favorite kind of berry toned lipsticks for fall. And, and berry tones any time of the year. I'm going to show you the ones that I love in a variety of formulas, a variety of sheernesses to like full on opaque, all of that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being subscribed. And if you have a favorite berry shade, let me know down below. So the first shade I'm wearing is this beauty. This is from Lipstick Queen. This is their shade Hello Sailor. It looks like a blue lipstick. I do have a swatch of it. If you, if the light will catch it, hello. There's a little bit of it right here. It's hard to see because it is basically a sheer lipstick, but it interacts with the warmth or the pH of your lips and it changes to a slightly purplier berry tone. It's still very sheer. It's still very balm-like. Uh, you can just barely see it here, but I love this. I've probably gone through five, maybe six tubes of this. This is second only in my most repurchased lipstick to the other one, which is a red, a sheer red from Lipstick Queen. These two, I love. Now, I'm not a fan of their Frog Prince or their Masquerade or all the other like weird lipsticks that look one color but go on as something else. I feel like the only one that really flatters me that I like is this one that is blue but it ends up being berry toned. I wear this in the summer a lot when I want a cooler lip. I wear this all winter long when I'm wearing hardly any makeup. And I, I wear it on days like today. I don't have a really strong eye look going, but it is sheer comfortable. And this is one of those that you can put on without a mirror. The next lipstick I have is another sheer lipstick and I have a sample size of it. This is the lipstick that I keep in my purse in a keychain, it's like a little zippered purse. <laughs> I love this lipstick, it's from Givenchy. It's one of their, I can never say this, the Rouge Antedi vinyl lipsticks, and this is the shade Noir Revelateur. Love this. This is a lipstick similar to the Lipstick Queen that has a very similar, you put it on, it changes with the pH of your skin, but I love this one. This lipstick is shiny, it's balmy, it's comfortable. I don't feel like either one of these end up catching on um, dry particles of my lips. Um, they're both really hydrating. Neither of them settle, unfortunately, like in the line. Like some lipsticks, they just gather and they collect in the lines of my lips. This one does not do that. Love this one so much. I have one for you from L'Oreal. This is one of their Color Riche Plump and Shine lipsticks in the way in the shade Wild Fig Plump. So it looks a little bit more intimidating in the bullet, but it's a shiny. You can build it up and make it a little bit more opaque. But this I feel like runs kind of that red plum and not that dark purple plum root. I feel like uh, the Givenchy is a little bit more dark purple. This one is a little bit more red in its lean. What I like about this is that it does have a little bit of a tingling sensation going on. It feels nice. It, it's not uncomfortable. On a scale of one to 10, it's like a one and a half, maybe a two. It's not super uncomfortable. It's, you can just kind of feel it and it goes away eventually, but it's shiny. It looks good. It makes my lips look really lovely and it's drugstore. I've had this for so long and it's so good. This is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick and this is in the shade Rich Raisin. So this is Rich Raisin, this is the L'Oreal, this is the Givenchy, and this right here is the one from Lipstick Queen. Those first two are so sheer, they look better on the lips because you get more of a color reaction there than when you swatch them on your hand. But I love this shade. This one is a more of a brown plum, if that's even a thing. I feel like the other one is more of a red kind of magenta-y plum. But this is beautiful, super comfortable. One of the most comfortable, creamy formulas. And I love the fact that it smells like candy. It smells sweet and fruity. It, it smells like candy, I love it. Another one of my fall faves is a drugstore lipstick. This one is from Burt's Bees. This is the shade Juniper Water. This tends to have a little bit more of a purple look to it, but I love. I really think these are beautiful lipsticks, and I think the formulation is really, really nice. I do have a try-on of all of the Burt's 
well, almost all of the Bird's Bees lipsticks. I will link it for you here if you're curious, as well as in the description bar below. But I feel like they perform like a cream, a satin cream lipstick that deserves to be I would pay more for this formula. I guess that's what I'm saying is it doesn't feel like a drugstore lipstick. It doesn't look like a drugstore lipstick. It's beautiful. I've been in love with this Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint since it first came out a couple years ago. This is the shade Wine Trip. Now, I have always liked the, the formula here and you can twist this little ring here to dispense more product up through the cushion, but I love this shade. I have several of these Kiss Cushion whatevers, and I love this one the most. This is the one, what I love about this shade is that as it wears down, because it stays feeling comfortable and hydrating on my lips, and as it starts to be absorbed, all the oils in it start to be absorbed, I'm left with a really beautiful, soft, plummy look application if I can reapply over the top of what I put on the first time I don't have to wipe it all off certain products require that this one does not super easy to just touch up always looks good wears evenly a favorite not just a favorite from the drugstore a favorite I keep forgetting <laughs> so this is the Neutrogena Rich Raisin this is the Juniper Water from Burt's Bees and this here is Wine Trip from Revlon so we go from super sheer hardly there to a little bit more um, but they're all just gorge this is a classic you may have it you may know it you might have had it at one point or another it's from MAC it's one of their satin lipsticks I don't really love MAC lipsticks, they're perfectly fine. I don't have anything against them. They're just not my favorite formula. But this shade, this is Rebel. Love this shade. This lipstick can be really intense like this. And when you blot it down, it turns out being more red and less purple. Let me blot it for you. I feel like at this point it's less purple and it has a little bit more of that reddish plum tone to it. I like putting it on full force and having it be more purple and then just kind of fade to this throughout the day. I feel like this is a bit of a chameleon lipstick and you get a lot of different looks depending on the level of opacity you apply. So you can choose something like this. That's one swipe and I'm going to build up the bottom half where you get more purpley plum here, a little bit more red plum here. This is, this is one of those lipsticks and if you wanted to just like tap it on and sheer it out. You can get a completely different look. It all depends. That's true with most lipsticks, but I feel like I use this, I use this, and I use this. I get three completely different looks from one lipstick. It really depends on what my mood is, but this is the one MAC lipstick that is in one of their more traditional formulas that I still continue to reach for every single fall. I love Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I have two that I absolutely adore. This is one that I wear all year round. This one is called Myth. So this matte lipstick is amazing. It's dark, it's deep, it's vampy, but it also fades like the one from MAC does to a slightly more berry tone as it goes throughout the day. So I keep drinking my cups of coffee and I leave a little lip print behind it does well. This lasts all day. My lips don't end up dry. The formula, the True Velvet formula, amazing. Really worth the dollars in my opinion, but I love this shade in Myth, especially for cooler weather. Another lipstick from Lisa Eldridge, this is Velvet Midnight, and it's really dark on my complexion, but looks beautiful on so many others. Swatching, I don't know what my problem is. So this is the MAC Lipstick in Rebel. This is the Lisa Eldridge True Velvet in Velvet Myth. And this is the True Velvet in Velvet Midnight. So the difference here is this one is very much like a blackened plum, not even a blackened cherry, more like a blackened plum. And it is really, impactful on my skin tone. I saw an amazing photo of um, a model who had really deep skin and it looked miraculous on her. Oh, it was just like, and it reminded me, I want to wear this lipstick more. I, our complexions are totally different, but the impact was just like, boom, love this lipstick. So if you want a really dark, deep lipstick without it being black, but you want to have that 
deep impact. I love this shade so much. Another thing I do is I mix this shade with other uh, berry tones here in the spectrum. I'll keep like the dark, this color, just like in the V on the outside corners or just like you know, in the V and then a little bit on the outside edge and then I'll ombre it in with my finger with another shade, put a gloss over the top. It brings a really beautiful richness and a depth to a lot of different lip looks. Sometimes I'll use a lip brush to apply it so I can get it exactly where I want it. But this is a, a I don't frequently wear it like this, but when I see this, I'm like, mm -hmm, I should, this is really awesome. Great shade. The last lipstick I have for you is a liquid lipstick from YSL. This is their Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. This is the shade number eight. The reason I left it to last is, as I was going through my lipstick hoard, I swatched it here, and this is me having scrubbed the spot like five times trying to get the swatch out. It does leave a stain, and that's why there's stain in the name. I love the fact that it has this angled paddle applicator. Love this so much. I get a lot of accuracy with this. Here is the YSL, shade number eight. You might know that I am not a liquid lipstick lover. Really, really, there are very few formulas that I like. This is one that I really like. It is long wearing. It's not completely budge proof, kiss proof, but I find that as the day wears on and it dries a little bit more, it never feels it never feels dry, it never feels sandy, it never feels flaky, and my lips don't get the feeling like halfway through the day, like, please take me up, please take me up, put on a balm, please, please. I never get that feeling with these. I have four of these, and I normally wouldn't buy that many liquid lipsticks in a formula unless I really liked the formula. But this shade is beautiful and it's a nice deeper tone. It is more of a red tone, but it, it leans, a, you know, kind of berry to me. So I feel like um, it worked really well here. But since it does literally stain hot pink, just expect that when you wake up tomorrow. Well, there you go favorite berry tones. Uh, and I, I felt like this was a, an appropriate like shade as we are launching deeper and deeper into fall, heading in towards winter. These are the sort of shades that I love to pull out. And I like having a variety of like sheer and comfortable, glossy and comfortable, all the way up to more matte lipsticks and ones that are really truly budge proof because it doesn't matter that we're still wearing masks and we will be for a while. I will always have a lipstick on. And I figured out which ones work really well under masks which ones are comfortable for all day wear if I'm just home with the kids and they're distance learning and which ones I feel like I can safely put on and then put a mask over because it's not going to go anywhere because this liquid lipstick really is almost 100% budge proof. It, it lasts a long time, but it doesn't dry you out. Anyway, let me know if you have a favorite berry tone shade or a favorite formula that you like to wear under your mask. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. I will link my lipstick playlist here as well as down below for you. Have an amazing day and I will see you again soon. Bye.